Chan. So today I wanted to show you um, wig colours for um, Raquel Welch, uh, the company AfroStyling.com, the one that, that I've bought um, Raquel Welch Editor's Pick from, they lent me these rings and I thought I will do a video so you get the idea of the colors because on a website you get this little you know inch square and you can't always tell what the colors are like um, also you know everybody's monitor is different so they will vary a bit but i thought it was a good idea by the way this is a service that most wig companies offer before you choose your color you can borrow from them one of those rings. I think you have to pay for it, but then they refund it once you've sent it back. Um, and that's probably the best way to do it if you, you're really not sure about the color. Also remember, I've got um, this um, promo for you uh, that I will link it below. <laughs> by the way, I'm not sponsored by this company. I don't get paid or anything. They just um, have sent me a couple of wigs. Um, yeah, there is a there is couple of codes, so you get free shipping if you order any Raquel Welch or Jean Renault wig, and this is for US and UK. So look in the description box; the code is in there. Okay, so if you want to do so, go and grab a piece of paper and a pen, and you might want to write these down because. Um, I, for example, feel like there is three or four co colors that I could, I feel quite comfortable with. So it might be more colors than one. So go and do that. So another thing is these colors are specifically for editor's peak. So most of Raquel Welch wigs will come in those colors, but not every color. So um, these ones that I will show you will be specifically for editor's peak but those colors are available in other wigs of hair maybe not just every color if you know what i mean so let's start with blondes because that's what i like actually let's start with a gray because there might be ladies out there that they um natural hair is gray and they're quite happy with being gray so Raquel Welch has one. I really hope that these colors come out good. I've got just um, daylight here, but I have this light to light up the background. Let me just have a look if I show you this and when I turn that light off, which one looks more natural. Okay, so you see the background is really dark now. Yes, but that probably shows the color better. So forgive me that there's not going to be much lighting at the back, but I want these colors to come as realistic as possible. So got your pen, got your paper. This is, I've lost it now. Here. This is RL56 slash 60. And this is mixture of two gray colors. That's what I love about Raquel Welch's um, colors. They are so dynamic. They are not just flat one color. They have always this dimension to them because she puts different shades and colors in it. So as you can see, this one has like a proper medium gray with really beautiful white silver. I will move this for you so you can see. I was thinking I could actually put it to my forehead so maybe you get an idea. Okay. And this is called silver. So this was RL5660. 
Okay, let's go to the next blonde one. And this is RL 1688, which is called Pale Golden Honey. And I think I quite like this color actually um, as well. I would never choose it from the website, but when I see it in real life, there you go, 1688, and it's a pale golden honey. Now, this color has very light golden blonde. It also has that lovely pearly creamy blonde, which I like. So it is a bit warmer than the biscuit that I like, shaded biscuit, but it's not too warm. So let me just move it around so you can see it. So you can definitely see a bit of the golden blonde in there. I'm not that good at describing colors, but I really hope that the, this comes out nicely. Let me put it to my forehead. <laughs> oh, that looks like I've got a fringe, look. <laughs> yes, I definitely like this color too. Okay, so that was the Pearl Golden Honey. Okay, and here are two of my favorites. So this is RL1923. And this is called Biscuit. And this is, hello. And this is the color that I have my editors pick in, but mine is Shaded Biscuit. And shaded means that you will have roots. And I will show you the shaded color as well. So this one is looking a bit, you would think, like the silver one, but it's not. It's proper, beautiful, pearly blonde with tiny bit of darker blonde, but the overall look is ashy. There is no warmth, too much warmth to it, but let me compare it with the silver just in case you thought it's like the silver so you see next to the silver it looks warmer um, but it is quite ashy look it's my personal favorite <laughs> this is fun okay and now let me show you the shaded biscuit which is RL19 23SS and that's Shaded Biscuit. So as you can see the ends are as light as the biscuit that I just have shown you. See they are the same but you get this darker root, the sort of ghost down and disappears into the blondes. Um, so that is the color that I have in my Raquel Welch Editor's Peak and it is my favorite. Um, so it's just like the other one, but you can see you get that root with it. Okay, now I will show you RL 1422. which is pale golden wheat. And this will be very similar to pale golden honey, but a bit darker. It has a bit more of the warm ones, as you can see. So this was the 1688 pale golden honey, and this is pale golden wheat. They are very similar, but as you can see, the pale golden honey, even though it's called honey, it comes across a bit more ashy than this one. But they are very, very similar. This one definitely has more warm tones in it. I hope that comes across. But on the whole, they are very similar. So these were the light blondes, you know, 
mostly ashy and neutral i would say with a couple that have a bit of warmth in it so now i will show you warmer blondes and you know some of them are very similar uh, you see like subtle difference but it is because it's just a chunk of hair when when you have the whole head of hair in that color you would probably see the difference a bit more okay now let's go to rl 1388 1388 which is a golden pecan this one is much warmer than the other ones but still has a bit of that creamy blonde a bit of an ashy blonde um, let me show you the pale golden wheat i know they probably look so similar but there are uh, subtle differences this one will overall look much darker than this one on your head the really warm blondes i have three here they they've got a lot of gold in them gingery gold so this is rl 1425 and that is honey ginger so can you see how much warmer this one is comparing to the biscuit for example much much warmer still very pretty but it has this really really gingery golden blondes and i don't think that color suits me at all okay next one is rl 2527 and this is butterscotch this one has more defined low lights and highlights and this is very very gingery gold okay and the next one in the same family is rl 2925 and this is golden russet and again this is similar to the previous two but it has so much more of very very golden gingery blonde that real real russet and then it has very few i would say gold platinum blondes this one is very dynamic i think this is the color that raquel welch wears in her manufacture photos a lot of time um, also remember with all these highlighted colors what raquel welch does uh, the lightest colors are always near the front of your face so you still get all that dynamic beautiful color all over but the highlighting is usually concentrated around your face and i quite like that i think you know it brightens your face so um yeah beautiful i mean they are all beautiful colors obviously i don't feel like that suits me at all but they are still beautiful colors and this is rl 1422 ss which means that this one is shaded which means you will get the root and that's shaded wheat So in here you get lots of beautiful colors mixture this is like a um, quite reddish wood dark reddish wood um, you have russety colors you have uh, pale golden this is beautiful color as well so that's shaded wheat so it will be similar to the other wheat but you will have that root let's see what wheat looks like on me yeah that would work as well so this is rl 1216 and this is honey toast so we get in here into darker blondes 
and um, this is still very very golden try to move my light hair but you can also see what it looks like um, in contrast to my own hair uh, so this is very warm color um, beautiful again okay arrow 3027 which is rusty oven and the color names are very very apt you know they are this is definitely oven and it has rust in it rusty color another one that wouldn't suit me but a beautiful i love all these colors i just wish they all suited me and then we have rl6 8 which is dark chocolate and to me chocolate is quite a neutral brown color i think i'm thinking if this is like my natural color no my natural color is more ashy but i think if i tried a dark wig because this is quite neutral i would quite i would quite like this color so this is your dark chocolate okay some reds this one is gorgeous arrow 3335 and this is deepest ruby gorgeous gorgeous color and as you see you have at least two different shades in it so it is not um like a solid color i think that's what makes the wigs look less wiggy when you have um variety of colors in it not just solid i think that actually something like this would quite suit me what do you think you would bring out my blue eyes <laughs> so that was the deepest ruby now we have RL 2331 and this is Cinnabar so you have a bit of that ruby color in here um, but also some really dark golden ones let me compare it to the deepest ruby so that's this Cinnabar it's not as red as the ruby beautiful colors actually maybe this one would be better now maybe it's got too much golden so that was cinnabar and then we have ginger brown which is rl527 And this one has loads of beautiful, quite chunky highlights. So you can see that dark brown and then this true ginger color on the top of it. Beautiful. I'm getting confused with what I've shown you what I haven't because I don't want to take these rings apart I'm just gonna go not in like color groups because I'm getting confused I don't know if I've shown you the copper mahogany which is RL630 I do it again just in case I didn't beautiful just like the color says, nice mahogany with some copper highlights. Hmm. Okay, shaded hazelnut. 
This is RL8 29SS. So remember when you have the SS on Raquel Welch colors means it's shaded, which means that you will have the root. So this is your shaded hazelnut. Again, beautiful. They are just so gorgeous. I mean, I love every single one of them. I just wish I suited all of them because they are just so beautiful. Okay, RL1222 SS, which is shaded cappuccino. Shaded cappuccino. Again, gorgeous. I think I would actually like this color because it it has some cooler blondes in it. Yeah, it has some warmer ones as well. And this root looks similar to the one that I have in my favorite one. And because it's cappuccino, you would think it's very dark, but it isn't. I think I would quite like this one. So shaded cappuccino, it's a good choice uh, if you don't want too bright blonde, but still be blonde with some, you know, brown low lights. RL3129. Fiery copper. And it is. It is very, very fiery. It has dark golden blondes and almost this burgundy color and, and this really bright copper color. It's gorgeous, the fiery copper, beautiful color. Did I show you the golden walnut, which is RL11? 25 golden walnut and this is basically dark brown with really really gold I would even call them yellow highlights RL628 bronzed sable very very dark dark brown with some warm coppery I'm not even going to attempt to describe it but I just hope you can see the gorgeous colors okay black coffee RL46 black coffee so you see even it's black it's got still two colors so it's not gonna be a flat color you can still see different shades of it Okay, RL2 slash 4 of black. So again, you know, black black can be very harsh, but this one is just of black. So I wonder what I would look like that. It is pretty black, but you know, it's not like your blue black. RL1012, sunlit chestnut. I think this is like a very, very natural brown. Actually, I think that could suit me. Oh yes, I like the sunlit chestnut on me. 
have to remember that one so that's the sunlit chestnut so it's a chestnutty color and it has just very very subtle highlights in it arrow 1216 honey toast very very warm color it has a lot of that almost yellow russety in it RL3027 Rusty Oven I think that was it i hope i've shown them all to you these were the raquel welch um colors like i said remember not all of them will be available in every wig but most of them are this was specifically for the editor's pick okay so remember you can always borrow these rings from companies if you're not sure but i hope this video helped you a lot with the colors thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye